Look at this. Living the life of luxury on trail. Yeah. In bed with his coffee. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Morning, everybody. Oh, and we have your Kindle out. Yep. It's our zero day in Hot Springs. Yeah. It's super windy outside. <laughs> we got to sleep in this morning, which is amazing. Because we don't really do that on trail. Like, we get up and the sun goes down. We're like, all right, time to get some miles in. But today we like forced ourselves to actually like sleep in. Like I think we both like, woke up early-ish, like around like seven. Mm -hmm. But then we forced ourselves to sleep until like nine, which yeah. is amazing. Um, Andrew, you said you had like a whole list of things to do today. Um, it's not it's not a long list, but we got we got to do laundry. Mm -hmm. Um, what else do we got? Dollar here? General. Dollar General for resupply. Mm hmm Food. We gotta get food, but, mm -hmm. you know, that doesn't have to be on a list. <laughs> My stomach reminds me that I'm always hungry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh... And chill. Yeah. Like we're doing and, right now. And drink a coffee that's not cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, for sure. <laughs> we need, we need our hot, hot lattes. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Excuse me. No, okay. But yeah, good coffee. So yesterday we went to Bluff Mountain Outfitters and I got new tips on my poles. I replaced them, which is cool. And now they're super fresh, which is exciting. This bothered me that they were two different um, lengths at the bottom because of how it broke. Um, I also got a new contractor bag for my backpack because it has a little rip in it on the side so I just wanted to make sure that you know when it rains it doesn't get through so they sell them like you could buy one bag at the outfitter which is cool and then I got some seam sealant because um, my backpack is made out of VX21 it's a ULA circuit, but in it, there are, let me see if I can show you. There are these seams here, but the way it was sealed originally, like it started to come off. So I wanted to see if I could do something about it. So I'm gonna try that now. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Like you see how this has come off over here. So I'm gonna try to fix it. But otherwise, like, I really love this pack. And I did reach out to ULA, and they were kind about it, and they offered, like, different ways I could fix it. And, yeah. But I wanted to see if I could just do the ceiling here myself. We're walking to Laughing Heart Hostel now to get laundry done. We stopped by Dollar General to get a snack along the way. I Sobo. The Sobo. Oh, I love these. Yeah, and then after, we'll go eat and finish up our resupply stuff and go on for the rest of our zero. Chilling at Laughing Heart, doing laundry. That's what that noise is. <laughs> and that's the trailer, which is the other place you could stay in town. Hey! <laughs> we just finished laundry <laughs> at Laughing Heart. We just literally just sat outside the laundry thing, chilled there for an hour. Now we're going back to Dollar General to get all our other stuff. It's windy today. Ah! Uh oh. It's blowing that way. There's so much dust. So it's like the weather forecast today is just wind. <laughs> like actually. So we heard from people who just came in today that like it is super windy up at the top of the mountain. It's like very cold, very windy. So glad we're here for zero because 
<sighs> it's also cold and windy down here too. And Actually, like, there was like, there was some like freezing rain in the sun was saying last night, right? Yeah, there was. It, there was like a little snow at the higher elevations. Freezing rain, snow, yeah. Haba? Resupply time or the second half of our resupply. Dollar General. Yes. Oh my goodness. Stop it. That's my favorite. Dollar General was a success. Now on to the next pub. Oh, nice. Sarah Joe's. We are now checking out Hillbilly Market. We're really just gonna stop by all the places we can. They have dry milk, all the oatmeal single packets. Look at all the cheese. Whoa. We're back at the inn. Andrew's enjoying his, uh, Yogurt with his long handled spoon. It's the Yo Crunch with Oreo. Oh, yeah. There's the big for these. <laughs> we have all our laundry laid out. And all our food is in the uh, makeshift gear room. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so they had a whole pack of these, the jalapeno uh, beef things at Dollar General, which is amazing. Andrew's birthday's coming up, so I gotta get these. Candy, ramen. Got ourselves some pies, cereal. Oh yeah, so the Hillbilly store market, they had some really cool stuff. It was like homemade, locally. Locally sourced kind of stuff. Yeah. Like little like cookies, you dried know, like candies. Con con confectionaries, I guess. Yeah, dried you know. candies and cheeses, meats. It was awesome. They had a lot of stuff and a lot of um, hiker stuff too. They had like a limited section of produce, which was nice. You know, bananas, apples, oranges, that sort of thing. And Sarah Joe's yeah. was also really cool. Got Andrew a little muffin for his birthday coming up. Yeah. Uh, they had a bunch of hiker stuff there as well. Hike friendly food, snacks, etc. So that was awesome. So I think we're good. Just gonna pack up our food bags now and maybe get some beers. What do you say? I mean, the brewery. Oh it's yeah. Good. And it's got the Wi-Fi that you want, so. We like that. <laughs> My snacks for the next stretch to Irwin. I got the caffeine ones, which I'm very happy about. I found these, the jalapeno ones which I said before. Very happy I found those again because I've been looking for these. I also tried these like cracker sandwiches. It has cream cheese and chives inside. It's actually pretty good. You know, I gotta have those. This, I only have one left. But look, Airheads. Andrew saw these and he's like, Katie likes sour stuff. I do like sour stuff. I just haven't had too much candy yet on trail. So here we go. Starting to go into that realm. My noon and my cheese it's of course. What I eat during the day in between breakfast and dinner. Andrew's journaling. He's keeping up with it. Look, he's nearly finished his journal. Gotta get you a new one soon. I know, right? Your eyes look very like green today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I have a habit of writing down too much stuff. That's not bad though. I don't know. I just you write... say it like it's a bad thing, but I don't think so. Yeah, well, I'm using up too much paper <laughs> and ink <laughs> <laughs> and probably too much of my own time. Is but, it something uh, you mind though? Not really. I hope I at least look back and read it once. <laughs> Just write a book with all yeah. your journal entries. He does this every night. It's 
my AT memoir, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. It's just like, I went to the store. I bought a Pop-Tart. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even, like, good. It's not even, like, uh, he, uh, you know, it's not even, like, some epic tale. It's just, like, I went to the bathroom. It was a good time. Like, just... No. For him, he's, he's a journaler. And for me, I literally just uploaded my... Um, my photos from my camera onto my phone. I do that every once in a while when we're in town and go from there. We have our own ways and I don't think it's a bad thing. It's not. Yes. <laughs> we have a lot of fun, you know, just, uh, I don't know how to put it. Recording our memories, I guess. It's a lot yeah. of fun for us. We both... We talk about this often. Like, I mean, to each other. But we both have a hard time, like... Just, like, remembering things, like... Memories, I guess. Yeah. Would you say? I don't have a great memory. Yeah, like... That's why I love, like, taking photos and taking videos and stuff, because it makes it easier to remember and like you have it to look back on and if I like see it again and watch it again like I can it just sticks better versus like you know it's hard because I know there's talk about like being present in the moment and stuff like that but I forget stuff so fast yeah. I don't know I guess you know to each his own right um but this is how we do it. This is how we remember. And we we often look back on photos and stuff like that. It's, I don't know, it's just really nice for us. I agree. A small investment uh, for, for later, you know? Yeah, big reward for later. Yes. For us, personally. And we're back to the brewery. We got flights this time. We're out here doing our thing. It's our pre-dinner drinks. Yep. All right. Cheers. What? <laughs> That's can you good. Can you pick it up? You want me to pick it up? put it next to your head. Oh God, it's falling apart. Oh <laughs> We're at Iron Horse, and I didn't want much food until the dessert. And you arrived. Apple Bro. crisp. Going in. Going in. Mm. <laughs> that is. That is wonderful. Why am I be playing the Star Wars canteen music in the tavern? Anyways, we're just chilling in our room above the tavern. <laughs> That's what that music is. Yeah. Just lying down and not being on my feet. Like zero, a true zero. Zero vibes right now. Yeah. I mean, we did our chores. We did our chores earlier. Your chores. My chores. <laughs> you did your chores. I did my chores. And then we hung out in the room. Just doing our zero day. Chilling. Ate food. Like one does on a day like this. Mm -hmm. And now we're back to lying down. As one does. <laughs> on a day like this, especially nearly you're, 11 p.m. You're really killing me with this. I am. <laughs> I'm just really good at words. Oh my gosh! If you didn't, if you can tell, um, I'm like so good at speaking. Anyways, this is what we're gonna be doing. Well, all I'm night. Gonna sleep now. Yeah, and sleep. Yeah, until tomorrow, folks. <laughs>